I, I don't know if you're aware, but some of the people out in the blogosphere and, the, and progressives, you know, um, don't want to see you elected to Congress because you're too important to the Cook County Board. How do you respond to that? It, it's a, a backhanded compliment, I suppose. Uh, it, yeah. it, uh, it suggests some corollary to the Peter Principle, and that is if you do a great job, you should stay where you are instead of trying to do something better at a higher level. That's why I'm running for Congress. I, I've loved what I've done at the Cook County Board for 10 years. We've made great tr strides, great changes as, as they talked about that. But eventually you earn a right to do those things at a higher level. The opposite of that, if you follow that logic to its extreme, is if I had done a half-assed job, we'll promote him and get him out of there. It really doesn't make any sense. I appreciate the thought but there's greater things to be done at the federal level. And, and that's what I was going to ask you. Why is it that you think that people think Cook County Board needs to be reformed, but Congress or Washington doesn't? Well, it, there's actually great parallels here. When I was in Denver, uh, the nominee for the party, uh, Senator Obama, said, we need to restructure, streamline, and reinvent government. He said, because we're not going to have unlimited money, we're going to have to do things better with what we have. This is something I wrote 10 years ago. I, I wrote eight reports about streamlining, restructure, reinventing government. So the parallels are there. And now he's talking about, the president is talking about transparency and accountability. That's what we've been fighting about for 10 years. Some of my greatest achievements were to be, were to be increased transparency and accountability at the local level. Our measure put tax appeals online. Mm -hmm. Our measure put the attorneys of record on tax appeals, which are sometimes very suspicious, online. Our measures dramatically increased the attempts at transparency and accountability on tax increment financing. So the same issues are there. The same mindset is there. But obviously you can get so much more done at the congressional level. And um, just to finally in that thought, you know, the, the suggestion is that if you're elected to Congress that they're going to appoint a Todd um, Toady to your seat, which, you know, I mean, I know the committeemen around here, I don't think their um, voters, their supporters are going to be too interested in, you know, in, uh, doing that. So why well, do you think they're thinking about that? Well, uh, first, I think that they... Uh there are those out there who aren't thinking this process through with all due respect. In the end, there'll be an election to replace me. Exactly. I believe that there shouldn't be any more appointments. I believe there should be special elections for all these seats, and it the, should be a high priority in the state of Illinois that everybody who leaves office early should have a special election. Let the voters decide so there are no more golden seats, so to speak. In the end, I have faith that the voters in the February of 2010 election will put somebody in place who has the same mindset about reform and transparency and accountability and no committeeman, no opposing force will stop that inevitable force that's out there for change. This district understands those issues and will push for them continually. Okay.